us shopping at Goodwill today. First thing in the door, where's the jewelry? <laughs> so I'm asking her if they have put out any jewelry drawers recently, and she is telling me no that they haven't. My store, my favorite store here, has been pretty bare for some time now. I don't know if the trucks just aren't bringing any jewelry, if the managers are not requesting it or what, but we just not had any good jewelry at that store lately. So checking out some purses here. And there's a bin. Anytime I see the bins, I always have to run over there and see what's in there. Let's get a basket. Just in case, you never know what we'll find in Goodwill. These are really cute. They're like little, I think they might be like bronze. At first I thought they were brass, but they're super heavy. And I think they're bookends and each little monkey's holding a stack of books. And I got the pair for $7.99, not bad. There's my friend Mike. Always have to stop and talk with him a bit. Okay, another cart. Yay! So we got this lady super nice. So let's see what she brought out in the bin. Some picture frames. That's a neat little Christmas radio she has there. It wasn't working, it needed a battery, but it was just made of plastic. So I figured it was probably not going for that much. She's so sweet, she was showing me some things that she was about to put out. I think that was one of those things that you plug in and it plays music to Christmas lights. Got a hair dryer. You just never know what you're gonna find at Goodwill. Oh yeah, she gave me that Wizard of Oz thing. So that's a Wizard of Oz little Pez dispenser set. So there's like six of them in there. And I believe I already have that listed on eBay for about $23. So that's what they're selling for. So I always like to check out, uh, see if there's any cool vintage t-shirts, but I did see this one. I thought it was really funny, so I'm going to keep this one for me. Plus, the tag was orange, so it was half off. So I think that one only cost me about $3. So yeah, black is always one of my favorite colors to wear because... Hello, black is slimming for us ladies. Guess it could be slimming for you guys too, for sure. These are some neat looking shoes I checked out. I did not end up getting them though. They look to be brand new with the tag on them. Oops, what are we going back for? I must have saw something. Nope. Psych. Always love to come in the back and check out the picture frames. Look at this neat little mermaid. It was really cool. It was like a stretched canvas print. I think they only wanted $8 for that.
I have found some of the neatest stuff back here for my house and for my antique booth. Another dog picture, you know I'm a sucker for those. <laughs> Oh, this definitely was vintage, but the little boy looked a little creepy. I don't know. What do y'all think? <laughs> Almost like cloudish creepy. So, and I want to say that was only $3, but yeah, I had to leave him there. I don't know if I would want home uh, in my house. <laughs> so this was interesting. I thought it was a tray or something, but I couldn't get it out and I didn't want to cut myself trying to figure it out. So I left that there. Now over here is like where they keep all the lamps and appliances and electronics and stuff like that. That was a really neat one of those pictures that I think it moves or something when you plug it in, it has a little light background. So these were neat. I couldn't figure out what they were. I think they might've been heaters. But I wasn't sure. So if you guys know what they are, let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> Hopefully you guys don't mind the voiceover. You know, Goodwill always plays music inside their stores. So, and I think those were $7.99 each, if I'm not mistaken. This is a really nice table. They also keep like curling irons and stuff like that back here too. And I have found a chi back here before as well. So at least whenever I think about it, I always like to look in that little bin too and see what kind of curling irons they have. Some people to my left checking out the books. And then to my right, another really tall table. So now over here to my right are vintage, uh, some vintage linens, <clears throat> some modern ones too. I'm such a sucker for the vintage linens. How about you guys? Like I love the vintage sheets and the pillowcases. And we got some pajamas up here. some jackets oh my goodness there are the pillows I'm such a sucker for pillows I'd list just face it I'm a sucker for everything <laughs> if it's vintage and it's cute I'm gonna want it but yeah you know I really love how organized uh, my local Goodwills, Goodwills are I've seen some of my friends uh, videos of Goodwills around the United States and a lot of the stores it seems like they just throw stuff up on the shelves. I don't know if there's any um, method to the madness or not, but this store always seems to be pretty nicely organized for the most part, except for maybe here on the back on the aisle next to this one. <clears throat> they throw a lot of uh, odds and ends. So yeah, we definitely have sections that are messy, but for the most part, it's pretty organized, I think. I think they do a good job. Now we're getting down here by the coffee mugs. Of course, I always look at those. And over here to the left, they try and make little displays for the holidays that are coming up. Or sometimes they might like to keep some of the um, nicer, more expensive items in here. So I'll definitely always check these displays out to see what's over there.
I am backing up because <laughs> I always like to look in this little bin here to see what kind of glasses are there. Love to sell the glasses. And people ask me what I do with them all the time while I sell them. And if they're a really good brand, you can sell just the frames alone and people, um, you know, can go to their local eye doctor and have the lens replaced with their prescription. So, because frames can get expensive. Trust me, I know, I have a son who just got some glasses and they are not cheap. So we got some boots over here. Okay, am I making y'all dizzy? I, clearly I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing. <laughs> Who am I? Where am I? <laughs> I know what I'm doing here. I'm looking at the scarves. Yes, I definitely always like to check out the scarf, scarves and see if there are any good brands. I love to um, wear them and I also love to sell them. Although I don't think I have not even one listed right now for sale. <laughs> I also use them for um, taking stuff to my antique booth as well. So I'll wrap the breakables in the scarves. That way I'm not just uh, wasting newsprint and I'm also not getting my items dirty with uh, things that do have newsprint on because you know sometimes I use that paper it's called um, I guess it's like called newsprint paper but there's no print on it you can buy it at Walmart it's like ten dollars for a big bundle of it so thanks so much for shopping with me you guys I hope that you enjoyed the video uh, please subscribe if you haven't already like the video and share it with your friends and tell me what you guys are buying at your local um, thrift shops. Are you guys shopping Goodwill, Savers, and um, what kind of deals are you coming across this week? We'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody. Yeah.